Okay, I'm going to go through uh, just how to get started with an Arduino board in MATLAB. Um, I've done this video before for an older version of MATLAB and the code has since changed. So this is going to be for, uh, well, this one will be version 2015. So I'm going to start up MATLAB. While that is starting up, I just want to point out that uh, I could go about this first by going to the Arduino site and going to downloads. Going to downloads and download it, downloading the driver and the Arduino interface from the Arduino site, but I've not done this, but I believe MATLAB will do all that for me, so I'm going to close that go back to MATLAB, and this is a freshly installed MATLAB so I'm going to try to create a Arduino object A, I'm going to call it A A equals Arduino, I don't even know what the COM port is, but that doesn't matter because this is going to give me an error because I need the Arduino support package before I can continue. So I'm going to click on support package installer. There it goes. I'm going to have to log in first. Finish. Okay. I'm going to restart my MATLAB. The font is tiny. Okay, back to it. A equals Arduino COM4. This is probably not going to work because I don't know that it's in COM4, but I do know this is the first Arduino board I've attached, so I could pretty much guess it's COM3, but every time you attach a new Arduino board, it's going to be in a different place. So let me show you where you can find uh, your COM port. So if I hit the Windows button, go to Device, Manager, and the control panel, it's under USB, oh wait, no, COM devices, where is it? Oh, I have uh, not plugged it in yet. Okay, so now I'm plugging in the USB cord, and I have just connected, oh wait, ready one. There we go. So now it's under ports. COM. USB serial port, COM3. Now on a Mac, if you have a Mac, I am no expert in the Mac, but uh, I just downloaded the uh, Arduino package. So if I go to documents, no. If I go to this PC, okay, if I go to the PC, I go to my C drive where it installed MATLAB, go to support packages, version 2015A and if I go to Arduino it installed the uh, MATLAB interface so I'm going to actually well I could put this on my desktop you probably want access to this but I'm just going to open that up oh. of course it's tiny but that doesn't matter we're not writing Arduino sketches, we don't need to, we're going to interface with it with MATLAB, but if you go here on a Mac and you go to Tools, uh, Port, it should tell you the COM port that you would use in your Mac in place of COM3. It's a long series of letters and numbers, if I remember correctly. But we don't need to do that. All I needed to know for this was that it was in COM3, so if I 
do A equals Arduino, COM3. It can't find it. Ah, but that is because, and let me switch my camera around. I am not using a typical Arduino board. <clears throat> Arduino Uno. I'm using a red board, which is nice because it costs less, but it does make me type in one extra line of code. So Arduino, COM3, Uno, and this also is something that you need to do on the Mac. So the first time I'm running this on a board, it, it might uh, update the uh, script that's on the Arduino board, but because I've already used this Arduino board with MATLAB before, it doesn't need to do that. So it's properly connected. I should be able to communicate with the board. So if I go, I don't know, let's just read a voltage. So you say read voltage now. This is different code than what it used to be. I need to send it the, the Arduino object and the pin I want to read from. Let's say I want to p read from pin one. Oh, now it wants it's A1, analog one. So there, it uh, read the voltage from there, but that voltage is just floating. It, it's not really. Uh, Reliable. So let's go from pin one and go to ground. So this should be zero if I read this voltage again. And it's zero. Let's go to five volts. 4.99, close enough. Let's go to the 3.3 .3 volts. Close enough. So now we're connected. Um, I think next I'll just show a quick analog in example. <clears throat> 